Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Small Potatoes Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Path of Exile. So I recently started to uh, have some interest in this game. And so I've started trying to play this game. But unfortunately, I ran into problems that some of you might have. I mean, if you're watching this video, probably because you have the same problem. So I ran into this problem where when I click play, it just doesn't do anything. It just stops and it doesn't launch the game. So when I tried different things such as um, reinstalling um, my graphics card driver, uh, installing an older version of it, uh, uninstalling it through safe mode, reinstalling it, um, clean up registry, um, you know, update uh the bios and everything's like that well i didn't really update my bios just for this game but that's because i had some problem with um usb device so i had to update update my bios just to fix that for my stream and while we're talking about that if you like the content that i've been creating uh please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and also that notification button if you want to know when I have my next video posted and also my next stream. But anyways, I went through a lot of trouble for the past two days trying to figure out how to fix this issue. But eventually, you know, I just gave up on trying to solve this on my own and uh, I asked some people on the forum. But after a while, nobody knows how to fix it until somebody post a possible solution so in order to fix the problem um, what you have to do is you have to stop a service that's running um, so what you do is you go to your start menu you bring up the command prompt and you run it as administration Okay, and, and then what you type um, is the following net stop win MGMT. Well, this will stop a service called the, I think it's called a window management instrumentation um, service. So what I'm about to do is um, I'm going to be rebuilding the repository for, for this service. And by no means, this is um, a simple thing. So if you're not sure you want to do this, then uh, I will start right here. Because when you rebuild the repository, what happens is that there are some um, codes and some um, uh, things. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into technical stuff, but I'm just going to say that it, it's a service that gets called by a different program and um, it will share resources with other different programs and they're very specific, right? So if you are to rebuild the repository, you're basically like risking on uh, breaking some of your program existing on your computer. So if you're having problem openings applications after you rebuild the repository i would recommend you to reinstall whatever program that you are having problem with just so you can um, get everything reinstalled properly and um yes the reason why i am saying that is because i have the same problem so let's say that i am running this vmware i guess i run vms right on my computer and if I double click it right now uh, it should be okay but you know I, I actually made the fix already but I reversed it so it, it'll it'll still crash I'll show I'll show this afterwards but yes uh, if you are about to do what I'm gonna show you um, please keep in mind that it risk breaking some stuff on your computer like some applications and uh, and things like that, like uh, connections between resources and your application, they might make your application not work and things like that. So anyways, 
what you do is that you stop the service by pushing enter after you type that and then it's stopping it so it stopped it and then what you do is that you have to go to your explorer and then what you do is that you have to go to C drive under windows and system 32 under WB EM. Okay, here you have a folder called repository. So what you're going to do is that you're going to rename it to dot old so you have a copy of the old, original one and rename it like that what happens is that now um, the service will not see this folder because you renamed it and it's going to try to rebuild a new one so what you want to do is that you're going to type in net start win mgmt to and hit enter to restart the service. Afterwards, it will basically, you know, re reproduce this folder whenever you like it, you like this service gets called. So let let's try running the game. So as you can see, it works now, which is great. Oh, you can go into an option and everything. But this does come with a price. So what I did is that I rebuilt the repository, which you can see right here. It re recreated this repository folder. I'm not going to go into it. But anyways, um, what happens is that it's going to break some of your program like this uh, VMware right, right here when I click on it it's gonna tell me that you no know, there's things that's missing you know code cannot be found and you no know, it's gonna be a problem if you have a program that you use or if you have a lot of program on your computer so be careful of um, how you handle this situation But as far as it goes, uh, this will make your service uh, re reproduce the repository and it will fix the issue of launching Path of Exile. And that is all. So if you want to read more about the, the service, uh, I would recommend you looking up the Windows Management Instrumentation Service. and. Um, read about it before you do anything so once again if you like the content that i've been creating so far please consider hitting like like and subscribe button i do stream and uh you're more than welcome to join me when i stream you will get notified whenever i'm about to stream uh, by clicking the notification button below and feel free to post some comments and let me know what you think and let me know if it helped you with your uh or your path of exile so thank you for watching everyone and i will see you guys next time